What is up guys? Fahir here from awesometudes.com. In the previous video we have coded our B. So what we want to do now is call code our ninja. Now before we do that, I'm gonna go here inside of our enemy prefabs. Here is our ninja enemy. We will need to remove enemy move script because well we don't need it on the ninja anymore. We're gonna create his own script. And going inside of our scripts folder, enemy scripts, I'm gonna right click and create a new folder which I'm gonna call ninja scripts. Inside of the ninja scripts right click create a C sharp script and call it ninja script. Yes I know how creative I am really creative. So moving back here prefabs enemy prefab ninja enemy here he is attach the ninja script on him double click it and open it right here in mono develop let me just find it here it is as always i don't even have to tell you anymore that i'm tagging the class with the class tag giving a little bit of space and we need a couple of variables so what do we need well we need a public Float move speed, which by default is 5. We also need a private float camera Y, which is the Y of the camera, and a private bool attacked player like this. Now, also, what we need is a public game object. So, public game object, which I'm going to call Shuriken. So, what is this Shuriken? Well, it's the thing that we are going to throw at our player. So we need to create it, which is, or that is located right here in our sprites, enemies, and obstacles. And here it is. This is our shuriken. We need to set the sprite mode here to multiple instead of single. Hit apply here at the bottom. Open sprite editor and click slice. Automatic slice. Unity will slice it for us. And bam, we're good to go. So we have a slice here, 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 here. And we have one more right here and one more here. So we have the animation for our shuriken. I'm going to hit apply and bam, we are done. So we need to now drag all of these animations. So from zero up to seven, select all of these and drag and drop them right here in our scene view. We need to go into the animations folder, new folder, and I'm going to call this shuriken animations. Inside of this one, simply call this animation shuriken. So shuriken animation, and I'm gonna hit save, and bam, here we are. Of course, it's too large, as you see here. We're not gonna throw this mega shuriken zilla on our ninja. Instead, we are gonna, well, resize it. First, I'm gonna rename it here inside of our hierarchy panel to shuriken. Set the scale point to point to 4x and the Y, and we are gonna apply a circle collider. So not a box collider, but a circle collider 2D, which you see this one right here. And we are gonna apply a rigid body 2D, which is gonna be kinematic. So here we're gonna set it to be kinematic, and we are gonna tag our shuriken as the enemy. So here I'm gonna tag him as the enemy tag. Now we do need to go here inside of prefabs, enemy prefabs and drag and drop our shuriken because hey we need it as a prefab so we can select the ninja enemy now and here for the shuriken game object drag and drop the shuriken itself so here it is here is our shuriken and we have everything what we need to start coding our ninja so what do we need in the start function well in the start we need to calculate camera y which is going to be equal to camera main transform position dot y minus 10 because well we are going to use this to calculate when we are going to deactivate our ninja below the update function we're going to create a void move function so void move and here we are going to simply say vector 3 temp is transform position temp dot y not equals but y minus equals to the move speed multiply that with time dot delta time and transform position is now equal back to temp this will move the ninja down as we already did before and we're gonna call this function inside of the update now this is nothing new we did this already 
Now below this one, we are going to create void deactivate, which is also going to be called in the update function. So void deactivate like this, open close curly brackets, call it in the update function like this. And here we're simply going to test if the transform position Y, which is the current Y position of the ninja enemy is less than the camera's Y position. We are simply going to call our game object set active to false and bam, we are done. Now inside of this one, this move function, we are going to detect if R, so if transform dot position, so that position dot y is less than zero. So if it's less than zero, why am I testing if it's less than zero? Well, we have already explained our ninja is going to be spawned somewhere around here on top and the middle of the screen is zero. So the middle of the screen is zero. So as soon as our ninja reaches the middle of the screen, when the ninja, so when the ninja reaches middle of the screen, what we want to do is the following. We want to test if we did not attack the player. So if we are on the middle of the screen and we did not attack the player, if we are in the middle of the screen, and and we did not attack the player what we want to do we want to attack the player so here we're going to say attack player is true so that this if statement right here does not get executed again this right here again will calculate or we will know that we have reached the middle of the screen when we are less than zero or equal to zero we have reached the middle of the screen with our ninja and if we did not attack the player then we are gonna attack the player so attack is true and we're simply gonna call here instantiate our shuriken game object at our current position using quaternion identity so this is simply gonna instantiate the shuriken game object now we can test it out right now but we will have a funny effect we'll instantiate the shuriken but it will stay there as you will see now just in a moment let me wait for the ninja so the bee has been spawned flag now come on spawn the ninja every time when you need something to be spawned it is not so here it is we have the ninja enemy notice now bam you see Ninja was spawned, but hey, he fired the shuriken. This one also fired the shuriken, but the shuriken stays at one place. And by the way, if I go here in assets, prefabs, enemy prefabs, I'm going to select the shuriken, go into the animator, and here is the shuriken animation. I'm going to set it to be twice the speed. So twice its own speed so that, while well, the animation goes faster. What we need to do now. We need to go inside of our scripts, enemy scripts, and then ninja scripts. We need to create a script for the shuriken itself. So here, I'm simply going to say, not JavaScript. Who uses JavaScript anymore? I mean, <laughs> just kidding. But anyways, here we're going to say shuriken script. This one is going to be attached on the shuriken itself. So if I go back here, so yeah get some errors here that are not wanted. Let me just see if I can run. Yeah, I will need to re restart my Unity. So just a second, if I go here in prefabs, enemy prefabs, shuriken, let me just add component shuriken script. Did I detach the shuriken script? Let me just see what this is. New behavior, okay. Come on, let me go here in scripts. Enemy scripts, ninja scripts. Okay, do we have this script not right now? Yeah. You see this weird error? For a reason I left the video like this, I don't know what just happened and why did I got this error. But anyways, let me just go here to shuriken game object. Here he is. So we have the shuriken add component shuriken script and we are good to go. So if I run the game now, let me just see if we can run it. Yes, we can. You saw that I have created that C sharp or JavaScript file and I have deleted it and afterwards we got that error. So yeah, Unity is full of bugs as any other thing that you will find on the internet. So this is how you fix that particular thing. That's the reason why I did not cut that out from the video. Anyways, moving forward, here we have our shuriken script. So what we want to do with our shuriken script? Well, first we are going to have here private bool 
attack right. This is gonna determine are we attacking from the left side or from the right side. Same thing as we did with our B. Exact same thing right here. We need to know from which side is the shuriken fired because the ninja can be on the left or on the right. So we need to know which side are we and where we need to go. Right below here we need a private float, private float, attack speed, which is going to be equal to 6F, so this is the speed of the attack. In the awake function, actually I'm going to do that in the start. I am going to use transform rotation is going to be equal to quaternion, Euler, and here I'm going to pass new vector 3, 0 for the X, 0 for the Y, and for the Z it's going to be random. So random dot range from let's say 45 or negative 45 to 45 or we can test it out so you can either choose negative 45 or 45 or 45 then negative 45 this is just to rotate the shuriken itself same thing as we did with the b so this is exactly the same thing that we're doing with the b right here just rotating it a little bit so that it is it's like towards the player, so it's looking towards the player where we are actually attacking. We are also below gonna calculate, are we gonna attack from the right or from the left? So we're gonna see here if our transform position X is greater than zero, which means that we are on the right side, then we are attacking to the left. So here we're gonna say attack right is gonna be equal to false, else here our attack right is gonna be equal to true. Now, what is this here? We have already explained. If the position X is greater than zero, that means we are on the right side because zero is in the middle. The positive side is on the right. The negative side is on the left for the X axis. For the Y, positive is up and negative is down. So if we are greater than zero, that means we are on the positive side, which is the right side. So we need to attack towards the left side, which is logic because if I go here, just so that someone, be, someone is confused. So this is zero right here. This is the positive side on the X. And if we are here, so this is our ninja right here. He throws the shuriken from here. So this is the shuriken, which means that this right here, we are greater than our X is greater than zero. We are in the positive side. So we need to go towards the left side right here, which means attack right is false in this case. Otherwise, if we are on the left, so if our ninja is here, you see, if the ninja is here and he throws the shuriken from here like this, we're going to this side, which is the positive side. So attack right will be equal to true because, well, we are going to the right side. And also what we need to do is invoke a function called deactivate, which we still did not create, but we will. And we're going to invoke it in five seconds after we attack. So what we are going to do below here, we are simply going to create void deactivate because if we don't have the function with that name, bam, we will get an error. And here we're simply going to call game object set active to false and bam, we are done for deactivating the game object. Of course, in the update, we need to move our shuriken in the right direction. So if we don't attack to the right. So if we are attacking to the left side, so if not, notice exclamation mark, which will make what's after it the opposite. If attack right is false, this will make it true, which means if we are not attacking to the right, meaning we are attacking to the left, so left, we are going to say transform position minus equals vector three right multiplied with the attack speed multiplied with time dot delta time and here in the else statement we are gonna do the opposite so here we need to go to the right side so here we're gonna say right and here we are gonna say plus equals because plus or positive is going to the right side minus or negative is going to the left side so i have explained that again I don't care if you are like, okay, you explained it 2,000 times, I'm going to explain it 3,000 times anymore. What did I just say? <laughs> Anyways, I'm just kidding, but we are done with this. We can go here and we can now test it out. So if I hit the run button, let us just hope that the ninja will be spawned very soon. So we have the B clone flag, 
Come on, waiting for that ninja. We have the tree. We have the tree again. Tree again. Here is our enemy ninja finally. Notice now when the ninja comes here, he's gonna throw. You see, he threw that shuriken on us. He threw that shuriken. Come on. One more, please. One more, one more, one more. Where is the ninja, man? When you need he So here we have one more ninja. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bam! You see, he threw the shuriken. Why don't we get BAM! He threw the shuriken. And also notice these shurikens, they are being deactivated. So they are here. You see? Shuriken one is here. Let me see the top one. So the top one is here. You see where he is? He has been deactivated. And notice this one is right here. If I can run the game and see him be deactivated. Yeah, here he is. He just got deactivated. Same as the B. You see the B when they get at the same position because I'm leaving the same number of time for them. You see, here is the shuriken. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. And bam, he is deactivated. So we see that this is actually working and our player, well, is now avoiding more obstacles than before. So far here, here from awesometoots.com, I will see you guys in the next video.